All right, guys, what has it been, like two weeks two since weeks. we've done this? Mm -hmm. One is because we got too busy, and then last week... Camera malfunction. Camera? No, it wasn't. I swear. It was you. No, the camera. You told me you got, you partied too hard, you lost the footage. That is a blatant lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we're back. So due to popular demand, people wanted for me to talk about chains. Or, some of you might know, Ah, we know who we're talking about. So, something very simple could be very complicated. First of all, right off the bat, we have the two types of chain. We have a 332nd and a 18. What is that difference? If you look at the width of these two type of, of chain, notice this one is wider. The wider one's 18, the narrow one's 332nd. The 332nd, like this one right here, is, is for a nine speed. The reason why they make it so narrow on this is because it, it has to go pass through all the gears. If they use a 18 on a multiple gear, each of the gear will be spaced out so wide, it it will just be ridiculous. So they just make it narrow. Hey guys, how you doing? How can we help you? I was a fan. You missed it. Yeah, I heard. So you guys you guys can see there's two different one, and like I was saying, some people might say, well, why the two different width? Mainly the, the narrow one, the 332nd, is for multiple gear bikes. So that's mainly the difference. Is there a strength difference in a 332nd, a 1 and a 18? Not really. Again, it's my opinion. It's, it's not facts. Um, one rule of thumb that you guys got to keep in mind. This is a 332nd sprocket. This is 18 sprocket. Look how thick it is. So I found a little tiny link. You guys got to keep in mind this, okay? A 332nd chain on a 1.8 sprocket. No, but will a 1.8 chain fit on a 332nd? Yes. One can go one way, one can't. So here's an example. This is a 332nd narrow chain. This is a 332nd narrow sprocket. It fits perfectly because it's narrow. If we're gonna put that same chain on this sprocket, it won't fit because it's too narrow. See? But if you're going, if you're gonna go with a 1.8 wide, it'll fit. But because it's so wide, you can also put it over a narrow sprocket. It'll be loose like this, but it's not gonna fall off or anything. So keep in mind, 332nd. 18. 332nd will only fit on a 332nd sprocket. 18 will fit on a 332nd sprocket or a 18 sprocket. Let's get down to the nitty gritty here. So, you guys notice right here, these are what I consider a traditional or a full length chain. Why is that? Because there is a some of you guys are gonna laugh. Come on, let's be mature about this. There is a, a male and a female side. So if you were to cut this off, the opposite side, if I was to break this link, I'm not gonna be able to link it together because this side is the smaller side, which is the male side. This is the female side. So whenever you break this, you're gonna have to break both of this. I can't explain this. I'm gonna show you guys firsthand. That's a horn. <laughs> Letting it be known coming through. Okay, chain breaker, my trusty one, guys. I've had this thing, what would you, you were around when this thing. I've had this thing for more than 15 years, guys. 2005. Yep, park tools. Look, it won't connect. So, the thing about a full length chain, whenever you break it, this one right here, see if I'm breaking one side, now you look, see now it connects. But let's say if you were to put it on a bike, the link gets to be right there. So what are you gonna do? You can't have both sides where it's, it's, you can't have both sides like that because, because, because you don't have the, the open end to close it. So guess what? You gotta break a whole full one in order to shorten it. Now with all the frame and the dropout is very small, like yours truly sleeper, 
If you look at this dropout, this dropout is shorter than the link of that, the, the full link. Can you see that? So if I got to break it to make it a male and female side so it would link, it'll stick all, either all the way out at the end or it'll be too tight. So then how would you do that? In the past, you'd be able to do that because dropouts were like a foot long. So now you can't. Again, guys, everybody thinks I claim I know everything. I don't know everything. I don't know who invented the half link. I want to say Shadow Conspiracy did the half link. Who, who invented the half link? I think who, it was KMC. KMC honest, did I it? I think. But we and Shadow wrong. perfected it. Shadow just made a stronger version. Okay. So if I remember when the half link came in, it was, it was. Before it was a whole chain, it was just a half link. You could yes. just buy a half link. Yes. Then I think KMC made the full link. And then Shadow made the strong one. So, so Alf is right. So before, when you had the problem where you only have to remove that much of a link so you could connect this, because you were playing with such a short dropout that KMC came out with a master link that was just one half link. If I recall my history, Brian Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. He went and he made the whole entire chain into a half link chain. Maybe. I still think KMC had it first. So if anybody wants to enlighten us, you know, something that I could learn, old dogs can learn new tricks. So out came the half link chain. That completely changed everything. The half link chain allows you to now tailor it to only half the link. Because if you look, each link has a male and a female side versus the traditional one there is only that and if you want to the female side you have to break open that so you have a male and female side that will intersect Can I go to the order? Yeah, go ahead. this will allow you to just break half that link so it'll allow you more adjustability so now if this was if this wasn't long enough all i have to do is break it right here and that is all I have to break. Again, whereas this, I would have to break a whole link in order to make it intersect. So that's like an inch versus half an inch. But there's also another benefit besides the adjustability, having a half link. There was at one time, I don't know if you guys remember, Primo came out with a eight tooth driver. Just to show you guys a small, this is a nine tooth. This is an eight tooth. Well, when the nine tooth came out versus these old school gi giant one, there were some people that were breaking chains because the chain itself was having such a hard time wrapping around this. You see all this, you see all this, the stress point is right here where it's trying to bend. The half link, look how much smoother it, it, it bends. But what was happening was that when it was going through the nine, the nine teeth, it had so much stress that it would, it would rip the chain right where that link is and chain would break. So when Primo came out with, with the eight, they really didn't help. This made it even more stressful because look at that. All these straight parties were stressed. That's where the half link actually came in. Very, very useful. Where if you look at if you look at how it circles, it circles that narrow, narrow gear. It has a smoother radius. It rolls a little bit smoother. Versus this. You can see it's a little bit harder to go around. So that's where the other advantage of having a half link is it could roll through your gear a lot easier. As the gear would get smaller and smaller, these, these traditional full links were breaking a lot. Some people thought it was the gear that was getting so small, it was putting stress on No, it was the chain. This chain was becoming obsolete to the smaller gears. The half link is the way to go. And then, Shadow wasn't happy with that. And Shadow goes, you know what? We could make it better. All the traditional chains, all these plate guys, imagine this whole table is a flat 
piece of steel about that thick. And now imagine there's a stamp. Bah, 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 bah. It's just stamping. This stuff's shooting out. Shooting out like me at the strip bar. Just ah, 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 ah just dollars. They're shooting these things out. <laughs> so when Shadow came out with this, it was doing the same thing, but every single time it stamped, it also bend it in order to make that half link work. But wherever you guys know metal, if it's kinked, that's where the weak spot is. So occasionally, not often, it would rip right where that kink is. So Shadow, of course, being ahead of its time, they went and they go, you know what, we're gonna do something new. This is the Supreme Chain. If you look at each link, each link is totally different. Because like, like that, like the half link and this, these links were not stamped out of steel. These link right here were actually, they have their own individual mold where they went and they casted each of, is it, was it casted or forged, Max? Are they, is, it, is it forged? Somebody, again, enlighten me. So imagine each of these link, imagine this table now, instead of it being stamped, there is millions of, of indentation where the metal's being poured in and, and they cast it out. And these individual little links are spit out. So remember what I was saying about the half link, how you got the kinks, that's where the weak spot is, where the metal is bent to make that little half link action. There's no longer being bent, it is casted into that. So there's no weak point. Therefore they came out the, the Supreme Chain. I personally, I've, I've seen a, forged. it's forged. Max found out it's forged, thank you Max. I personally, I think, how long has the Supreme been out? 10 years? Yeah, 10 years. I think I personally have seen two snap in front of me. Now, people bringing it in saying that, oh, I broke mine. That could be user error, but I personally see. Chris Fox, this is the only one that Chris Fox is on, and it was amazing. He changed one of his after nearly a year of use, and it was almost an inch longer than the new Supreme, and it didn't break. It stretched about an inch and it did not break. That just tells you how crazy this chain is. Is this chain worth every single dollar? Yes. It is It is pretty much the, the standard chain of the industry as, as well as the interlock. But guys, I don't wanna let, I don't wanna just say those two guys are the only guys that came out with it. You know, you got, you got Colt, you got Animal, you got Primo. Everybody else has their own half link. They're just as good as this interlock. Oh, you know what? One other thing I forgot. Oh, dumb. See, he's distracting me. He's just, he's just standing there like, 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 God, what did I do? <laughs> I'm just learning something. So, one thing I forgot, guys. If you guys notice the half link right here, notice how one side's smooth and one side's bumpy. That's because this is a, a directional chain. The smooth end goes on the outside. This bump goes on the inside. So it's going to go on the chain. So it makes a smooth radius. Guys, it does not go like that. It doesn't do that. This is where this is where it differs from the traditional chain, where the traditional chain does have those. So every single time you hit it, those rise part it's what's gonna hit and it's gonna pop the pins off. So, next time when you put it on, make sure the smooth end goes on the outside. And also, you guys notice how each of the link, it kinda like look like, like a little mini fireball. It always goes forward, not back. It always goes forward. So you put this thing on and it happens to be going this way towards the back of the bike, wrong. It has to go forward. Now the Supreme, I don't know why the Supreme, they didn't do that. They just made the, the Supreme non-directional, but that's because I'm guessing each of the, the rise is not as big and it's so beefy that you're not gonna break it. Otherwise, I don't know why. I personally like this concept because it grinds a lot easier and I feel like it's less failure rate. That's about sums it all. So you guys got any question, chime in. Got it guys, got any requests? Any ridiculous question, any ridiculous requests? Guys, buy, buy some shirts, man. I'm, I'm hurting over here. 
Okay. Later.